Hello viewer, are you stuck in early or mid game and you need a solid, good guide for progression? If so you have came to the right place. In today's video we'll be going over the entire progression guide from early game to mid game in full detail. Credits to Zyriok for creating this guide. This is not my guide. This is a good guide that has been backed by Plander of Plenty owners. I am just a broadcaster for this guide. If you want more info about guides like these, join Zyriok's Discord server. Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. In my opinion, early game is before getting Diamond Mask or Petal Belt. And then mid game is from that point to SSA. Chapter 1.1 Materials When you first start playing this game, you will get a lot of rare materials. It is important to know which ones to use and which ones to save for later. If you don't, your progression will be slowed down 300%. I can't actually prove that, but just peep game and lock in real quick. While it may be tempting to use your diamond eggs and star eggs for a free legendary or gifted bee, don't use them. I will explain why later in the video. Now for gold eggs. It's a little more complicated. You need a whole five of them for the honey mask, a crucial part of progression. However, hatching them can also speed up progression in the slow early game. You can buy them in the ticket shop for 100 tickets anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Make sure to save your star jellies as well. As for fruits, don't feed them to your bees unless it's for a quest. If you need to level up your bees, do so with treats. Don't use any consumables either. They're very important crafting materials. That's about it for this chapter. Chapter 1.2, Quests. When you first load in you'll be greeted by a few bears. It's important to know which quests to focus on. First is Black Bear. He is very important because he will be the source of your first diamond and mythic egg. Focus on his quests the most. When you feel tired of doing his quests, you can stop for a while, but just make sure to do his quests often. Next up on the list is Mother Bear. Her quests are also very important because she give you your first star treat and star egg. Make sure to save the star egg, since her quests require the use of fruits and treats. I suggest for you to do them when you everything else required and just have the fruits left for the quest. Brown Bear isn't as important, however you need to do them in the background for a diamond egg and a mythic egg. Panda Bear, oh Panda Bear, screw you Panda Bear. Panda Bear forces you to kill mobs and in return, pays you virtually nothing. Do Panda Bear's quest in the background, he'll give you a star egg by the way, just save it for later. Do these bears quests in the background, once you unlock Spirit Bear, place her quest at second priority. Chapter 1.3, Initial Steps. When you first load into the game, there's a couple things you want to do, first of which is to use some codes. Disclaimer, do not use any codes that give out boosts, save these for in-game you'll make so much more honey, only use the codes. On screen, get the canister and vacuum from the noob shop and start your questing and also grind for 25 bees. After a while you should unlock Dapper Bear's shop, and with that comes a whole lot of planters. But which order should you get the planters in? Plastic, red clay, candy, tacky, pesticide and blue clay, and buy the top shop stuff. Chapter 1.4, Blue HQ. You should unlock the Blue HQ pretty soon in progression. But what should you do in the Blue HQ? This might sound like a horrible idea, but get Bubble One and Blue Porto Hive ASAP. You're going to grind and pine for the most part so this duo of gear is actually optimal. You have to play in public servers in early games so the Blue Backpacker allegations are gonna be present everywhere. Just power through them. Also join the group so you can get free blueberries. Chapters 1.6 and 1.5, top, shop and event, bees. Make your way to the top shop and grab the glider. It's one of the best tools in this game. Next, get the Mondo boots, beekeeper's helmet, and Mondo belt bag. Skip the golden rate cause it's trash lol. Get hive slots until they cost more than 150 million and then start grinding for the pork dipper. Make sure to grind in pine tree and use the blue booster whenever you can. Now after getting the pork dipper, Get hive slots until you reach 34 of them. Now keep questing and grinding in pine to buy the pork porto hive. Get bubble mask. It's gonna be great for grinding, macrowing in pine tree and it's gonna boost your income quite a bit. Now you have the choice of getting the cobalt guard or honeycomb belt. Skip honeycomb if you macro. Now get the honey mask. It'll take you a while but you should get it eventually. Then you should cop the crimson guard. Get your 35th hive slot and get prepared for the long haul. And while we're at it, here's your event be buying order. Tabby? Photon, Cobalt, Crimson, and Festive Bee. You can get Gummy Bee and Vicious Bee when you get enough stingers and gumdrops. After you get all those event bees, start buying star treats, and then gift your event bees. You'll need to get Puppy Bee sometime after mid-game, so until then buy star treats. Chapter 1.7, Event Bee, Gifting Order. It is important to know what order to gift your bees in, so here's the order. Tabby, Photon, Bear, Gummy, Vicious, Cobalt, 
festive, and windy bee. Only give puppy bee when you're gonna level your hive, and only place a puppy bee in your hive if it's gifted. Gifting crimson is a waste since you'll go blue and have to remove it anyway. Chapter 1.8 end of early. From now to the purchasing of the cocoa canister, slowly get hive slots until you get 45. You should be making billions of honey by now, so buy royal jellies with them. Roll require gifted so you can get gifted types for SSA. Religiously grind spirit bears quests until finishing the 10th one. At this point, level up your hive to level 10 you don't need puppy bee for this. Level up vicious bee to level 12 so you can kill cocoa crab. When you have killed cocoa crab, kill it as much as possible. Here is the hive made by its lem you should use to kill Coco Crab. Me personally, I would tweak this a little. I wouldn't have a gifted crimson bee. I would have a gummy bee in its place. If you don't have bear bee put a vicious instead. If you do have a bear bee I recommend to swap a shy bee for a vicious. Before making any changes to your hive please watch lem's video about it. It has a very detailed explanation that you need. It will be linked in the description. Now here's the fun part of bee swarm. Mid game. Chapter 1.9 Mid Game We're gonna start off with a banger for mid game. If you have 5 or more diamond eggs, purchase a diamond mask. If not, buy Petal Belt. You might be asking why not Petal Wand, but the thing is, Petal Belt is way better than Petal Wand and it is still cheap as heck. Look at all these buffs. These are going to help you out so much more than the Petal Wand. Not to mention Petal Wand is barely better than the Pork Dipper. This is just a new meta. To get blueberries for the diamond mask, just macro and pine or host sprout parties in either stump or pine. This can be applicable for the other materials. I recommend watching guide videos on how to get these materials. After getting the petal belt or diamond mask, get the diamond mask or petal belt. What I mean is, if you got the diamond mask first, get the petal belt now and vice versa. Now, use what you've learned from getting the petal belt and diamond mask to get the coconut canister. But keep in mind the best way to get the coconut canister is to like and subscribe to this video. Not just kidding but it would help out a lot if you did. But the actual best way to get the coconut canister is by killing your cocoa crab. After that, macro and pine and strawberry or do sprout parties in pine, stump and strawberry. The grind for the cocoa canister is pretty short. Around 2 to 3 weeks so you should have it in no time. In my opinion, you should have gotten golden gushers at around honey mask level and then diamond drenchers before cocoa canister. Now, after obtaining the cocoa canister, start grinding for the supreme saturator. Try to complete one its black bears, mother bears, science bears, and spirit bears quest lines for now. And if you're wondering what order to give your transliders in, here it is, Bucko B, Stick Bug, and Rally B. Chapter 2. Mid Game Hive. I don't have an image for this hive, but let me just explain the comp for you. You should obviously have the previously stated event bees in your hive, and have a couple of them gifted. This might sound like a lot, but you'll need 6 carpenter bees. The marks help out tons when making honey. Next you'll have for music bees. These are used for melody and focus buffs which are overpowered. 3 baby bees for that sweet baby love. 1 diamond, shy, and ninja bee. By now you should have a gifted basic bee, but if you don't here's out to get one. Get tons of basic eggs, and a couple hundred royal jelly. Put a basic egg on a hive slot and then royal jelly it. After a while your basic egg will hatch a gifted basic bee. This takes patience. And then it's a part of your hive. You need to be fast in mid-game so at a gifted hasty bee. Any bee you have in your hive that isn't legendary or mythical you need to have gifted. Which is why you'll have 3 Riley bees and 3 bucko bees for the red and blue boost tokens that will be off. Get a commander bee for the gifted hive bonus. Now get gifted lucre bee. Rad B, Cool B, and Stubborn B for the gifted hive bonuses. If you end up getting any mythics, keep them. The rest of your hive should have separate gifted B types. For example, you would only have one gifted demo B and no more. I will explain the rest later. Fill up the rest of your hive with carpenter bees. That's basically it. Chapter to point 1. End of mid game. This is gonna get wacky. Grind for honey, complete spirit bear quests, and get your spirit petal for the second time. Donate the second spirit petal to the wind shrine and try to get windy bee. Now, make sure you have all of your quest lines done. If you saved your star eggs, you can get a gifted mythic for free now. But you have to listen closely. Get gifted basic bee in your hive. Then get all the rare bees gifted in your hive. Same goes for epic and legendary bees. After all that's done, Use your star egg for a gifted mythic bee. This will get you tons of progress on the SSA. The journey to SSA will be long and hard, but trust me, it will be worth it in the end. Now like and subscribe or I take your mythic bees.